Have you ever wondered if that pen in your pocket could be worth a lot more than its face value? Today we are diving into the world of Linkland sands that have sold for jaw-dropping amounts. These seemingly simple coins hold extraordinary value. Some due to their rare errors, others for their unique features and historical significance. Join us as we explore the coveted Linkland sands, uncovering the secrets that make them so valuable. Let's get started and see if you have hidden gem in your collection. Could this 1992 Lincoln Cent seemingly just ordinary pocket change be worth more than its face value? Absolutely, here is an exciting proof. This uncirculated 1992 cent, a superb gem encased in PCGS slab, recently sold for an astonishing $711 at Great Collections Auction on July 7th, 2024. Graded as MS69 read by Coin Grading Service, this coin stands out due to its near-perfect condition, earning one of the highest grades possible for a circulation coin. The 1992 cent is highly sought after by collectors for its pristine mint state and exceptional eye appeal. Finding such high-grade coins in Lincoln Cent series is rare occurrence, making them prized additions to any collection. The recent auction price reflects not only coin's incredible desirability, but also strong market demand for top-grade Lincoln cents. This low mintage issue was always scarce in circulation, but especially so at the time of coining. Like most Depression-era coins, these pieces were not immediately needed for commerce, and collectors had to purchase their, had to purchase their two-coin allotment of 1933 D cents, from the Treasury Department at face value plus postage. A few years later, however, the vaults were emptied of the remaining pieces, many of which were hoarded by speculators in mint state rolls. The census data reveal that many examples have been certified as MS red gems, so there is no great challenge to finding desirable specimens. The 1933 D marked the debut of a new mid-mark punchin for Denver coins, this letter D being noticeably larger than that used previously for cents, was used also for the only other 1933 Denver entry, the Oregon Trail Half Dollar Commemorative. The Super German Mint State 67 Plus Red and proven by CEC recently ended up selling for staggering $12,099.38 at Great Collections Auction. The typical 1950D scent is well made with fairly sharp strike from fresh or only moderately worn dyes. While the luster and color are generally good, contact marks and a slight tendency to tone irregularity limits the number of truly high grade pieces. Several repunched meat mark varieties exist, but none are particularly dramatic. Cut dye breaks are common for this issue, reflecting a general trend throughout the 1950s for dye break of all kinds to become more frequent due to high mintage, overuse of dyes, and inadequate hardening of the dyes. This particular gem graded MS67 plus red by PCGS and verified by CAC with green sticker on the top of the slab, recently sold for $2,531.25, including buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction on July 7, 2024. The high sale price underscores the value and desirability of such high-grade piece from this era. Mind-blowing price for a modern shield penny, this 2019 W Lincoln Center is in excellent condition of MS70, the highest achievable grade in numismatics. The 2019 W Lincoln Sand shield, graded MS70 red by PCGS, represents the pinnacle of modern coinage quality. The Mintmark W stands for the West Point, West Point Mint, where this coin was produced. The MS70 red grade indicates a flawless coin with full red luster and highly desirable trait among collectors. Its perfect condition and unique mint mark have contributed to its appeal and value. These coins were included as special bonuses in 2019 uncirculated coin sets adding an extra layer of exclusivity for collectors seeking pristine examples of modern numismatic history. It was sold for $4,612.50 on June 23, 2024. The 1944S cents were made in large numbers, but production halted in July as the San Francisco Mint focused on Philippine one centavo coins. 
While common in fully red gem conditions, these coins often show extreme die erosion due to poor quality control from 1944-1955. An innovation in 1944, a dual die pair color increased output by 90% but reduced die replacements, impacting quality. Several repunched mintmark varieties exist, but none are particularly compelling. This wartime penny graded mint state 68 red by NGC sold for $1527.75, including the buyer's fee. 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent, graded in mint state 66 plus red by PCGS and later approved by CAC. These old rarity fetched astounding over $32,000 at Great Collections Auction. 1909 SVDB Linklinson graded MS67 red is iconic and sought after coin in numismatics. This coin marks the first year of the Linklinson series and features the initials of its designer, Victor David Brenner, on the reverse. The S mint part indicates it was struck at the San Francisco mint and its high grade of MS67 plus red denotes exceptional preservation with full red luster and rarity for coins of this age. 1909 SVDB sent its prized possession for collectors due to its historical significance, rarity, and outstanding condition. And this is one of the most coveted error coins of all times, 1943S bronze cent. Very rare of metal error, graded as VF35 by PCGS. The 1943S bronze cent, an off metal error coin, graded VF35, is a numismatic marvel with a fascinating backstory. During during the World War II, due to the shortage of copper, the U.S. Mint struck cents in zinc coated steel. However, a few bronze planchets intended for 1942 pennies remained in minting machinery, resulting in a rare error like this one. The VF35 grade indicates a visible wear consist, consistent with its age and circulation. Despite its condition, the 1943S bronze cent remains highly prized among collectors for its for its historical significance and rarity as an error from pivotal period in American history. As expected for VF35 coins, this piece shows light to moderate wear over each side and mildly luminous sun gold and plum red surfaces show scattered minuscule abrasions under magnification. It was sold for $141,000 at Heritage Auction. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you have one of those coins in your possession, hurry up to have it authenticated by submitting it for grading. Keep following us on YouTube, don't forget to smash subscribe and like buttons, and see you in the next episode.